he needs to knee. He does need to knee, Kevin. That's a great point. Yeah, I mean, Mike had a pretty strong performance. He ha he showed signs of uh, slowing down versus ICs like Stingers and Walzer did. We'll see if he ends up doing it here. And there's the knee. Yes. The knee. The nah. Oh my goodness. He's running around. Diz caught him landing, and he immediately proceeds to pounce on him. Money Mike flubs some uh, tech inputs, but he doesn't get punished too badly for it. He's going to have to clean up more than that. He does. I think Diz could kind of messes up a desync out of a roll, but ultimately not punished too hard. These guys are making some mistakes early on, and they'll probably get more used to playing each other again as it gets going. And uh, Diz opening up the set strong, loses Nana though. Uh, Mike got a pretty big uh, percentage lead, but the matchup is clearly, if it wasn't already enough in his favor, it's very in his favor when he's playing against Sopo. Uh, the kind of like just comparing the two speeds of the characters, Mike is going to be able to do exactly what he likes to do, which is run all over the place and cause a bunch of madness. This has been getting a lot of mileage out of that uh, let go of the edge or jump back air and re grab. He's getting a lot of edge guards with it. I hope uh, players here are taking note and trying to find ways to avoid it. And that, that type of tactic got Diz his stock, which will be great because now on this fresh one, he can start getting wobbles. To get an old stock away, so that was very important that Diz got that kill with Sopo. This just in, a uh, CPU Daisy is about to win Mario Party in the other room. Godlike. Doodle. Back to the match. Back to the match. We have Diz missing wavelands, air dodging, holding that knee, but not holding much else. We have a pretty good edge guard situation for Diz. The percent is high on Money Mike. He ends up flubbing on edge guard. Money Mike uh, has a pretty good drift to uh, confuse him there. Diz has good drift on his side B. Money Mike has kind of gotten this habit where he's just kneeing and kneeing again. But it, it's, he's like doing these short up aerials, and like sometimes he's getting punished, but generally he's not. Uh, it is a bit risky to just keep doing them uh, over and over like that. But he's making it work. So I guess if you know, it ain't broken, fix it. Everyone's done that roll from the corner against Diz Kid. He, he's he's got to be loving that. Progressively getting bodied uh, consequentially from it. Not this time because it was so poke, but normally, yeah. So there you go. You're down throw knee. Thank you, Captain Falcon. And we're on to the next stock. Still tied up like before, but Diz uh, is making much better use of invincibility this time, I would say, than he was before. That yeah, I think that he learned a lot about Money Mike from their winner's bracket set because in that winner's bracket set, it just seemed like he got kind of decimated and overwhelmed. And this time, it's very competitive. Uh, we're seeing kind of a much more patient. And I'm not seeing, I don't think we're seeing Mike kind of do his, the in and out kind of pulling back that we were seeing before. I also think Money Mike isn't going through them with Ariel so much, which might actually be hurting him. And somehow, Diz grabbed Falcon when he was behind him. Ice climbers don't have a butt grab, so I have no idea what happened. But uh, here we go. There's a wobble. That's going to go on for a little bit longer. I am filling up dead air because there is nothing to talk about. Next. Uh, uh, that's a neat. Nana's percent is actually very low, even though Coco's is high. And now we see Money Mike uh, controlling his space much more. He's been much less prone to go in this whole set, and we see that again here. Popo on an edge. Oh my god. He got wow, that was interesting. Do you think that's safe or you think Money Mike just wasn't ready? I wasn't. He probably wasn't ready, but then he also probably DI'd away because, like, you usually want to DI away from that. P.S. Hold that 15%. Uh, Money Mike approached with an accidental back here, and Diz Kid will gladly take the DI on the down throw into a wobble. We have Money Mike trying to come forward, but he, he just kind of like flubbed an input this time. And uh, he, wasn't as, he wasn't as aggressive this match, or uh, maybe intelligently, intelligently aggressive is a better way to put it. And he loses the match for it. Mike probably looking kind of bothered. This kid looking like he definitely just bothered someone. Game two. Uh, we've got to see this kid take four more games to win the turn. Or actually, yeah, five more games total. If he wants to win this tournament, he's got to win the next five games in a row. He is coming out of the loser's bracket. He did lose uh, to Mike pretty handedly in the winner's bracket. So we're seeing somebody who's competing a lot more uh, in this second set. And it seems like he's learned quite a bit since their first, uh, for, since their first set. 
Yo, I looked at chat for a minute. I'm not gonna lie. I looked back. Mike lost the stock. I think he got wild. That is exactly what happened, actually. That's unfortunate. But, because, you know, this is out of state. I'm in state. I'm a cheer for in state. But, you know. Uh, good. I mean, to just try to jump and challenge Falcon, if he got the up air out sooner, he would have at least traded, but probably beaten Falcon's down air. So that was a good attempt. Um, what can Mike do to adjust right here? I think Mike would be great if he would um, even space more back air, more knee. Like, if he gets in the range where ice climbers can't uh, do uh, a smash, but, they, but he's far and he's close enough to where if they wave dash, then he will just hit them. Like, they can't, they can't, like, do a move out of lag. Like, they're, you're in 10 frames of lag from uh, doing uh, wave dash. And so then they can only move backwards, and this puts this puts him in a favorable position. So as long as he can do that and stay there, even if they roll or something, then he's in really good shape. And, you know, on Yoshi's, they don't really have anywhere to move backward in the first place, so it's a good counter pick. And uh, he's going to try and make them hurt for that as he throws out Stomp, which they probably have to run into. He doesn't get, he doesn't get Nan off state, and since she goes back to the middle, which is never where you want her to go. But you know, he can't be too upset. He's got the he's got the lead. He's got good percent on the next stock, and he's got this stomp knee to knee to Randall to up air to flub knees to up air to back air. There we go. <laughs> it's kind of it's kind of rough, but I mean you know ice climbers can't really do much, so you kind of just take moves until you die. So right now Diz is trying to control the space. He uh, he's kind of worried. He doesn't seem like he's too sure where Mike's going when he's like throwing up airs even though Mike's very far away. Shield grabbing when Mike is far away. I would definitely say this kid is kind of rattled. And probably rightly so, because Mike has kind of been all over him, but staying very safe while doing so. He's pl Mike's playing the matchup a lot better, but he also it's much easier on the side. Good side B and a down smash. <laughs> Mike doing what needed to be done. What needed to be done. Light him up, 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 light him up, up, up. I'm on fire! Thank you. Thank you for humoring that. Anytime, Kev. Anytime. Anytime you need to find a humor, you can find me. Anytime there's a bad joke to be made, I'll be there. I'm just trolling. <laughs> <laughs> so, at the match, Fountain, still a small level, but Falcon doesn't get platforms to run around on and attack ice and snipe ice numbers from. So, ice numbers can always just harass Falcon no matter where he is. So if Falcon can keep the position, then he can just force ice climbers to uh, hold that that small spot, and he can still he can still abuse them with a full hop and short hop. And it'll be okay. But as you can see, any escapes or any like partial escapes by Mike are just more likely to be punished. So this is a good this is a good pick by this kid. And Falcon also can't run around. Definitely a good choice. We're gonna see. Oh, that was good, gentlemen's. Uh, yep. Down throw knee. Sopo still not enjoying being electrocuted. He says, it's too warm. I'm going to get my girl back. And there we have some... Uh, Ugh, those down airs all look like they really shouldn't have traded, but they all did. <laughs> down air is a ridiculously big move. Now we see Mike going for the uh, fall through him uh, down air. And now, oh my goodness. I would have been better off grabbing there. He could have just wobbled him. But, uh, I mean, uh, you mean Diz was better off grabbing him there? This is better off grabbing it. It's almost better to never grab his Falcons matchup unless like they're separate or or it's Sopo. And Mike jumped from across the stage with a knee. L very lucky he didn't die for that. Diz uh, had a good bl Blizzard counter setup, but it, uh, Mike was just in an awkward position and his percent was low, so he managed to get out of that. Diz, meanwhile, uh, punishing Mike really hard for taking efforts to get rid of Nana, making Mike feel the uh, the pain of being on on this level as opposed to Yoshi's. Mike making him feel it right back with a down throw knee. Or maybe it was a down throw up air knee. Anyway, Falcon uses limbs. Ice climbers die. Oh, wow, he did a grab. That was kind of risky, but it ended up paying off. And there you go. Mike tried to do a, a run through uh, down air again, but because of the pushback from shield, Falcon gets the uh, or ice climbers. A little long dick of the wall, really. Pretty much. Oh. And knees uh, abundant here. Trying to teleport to get his girlfriend. Doesn't work out for him too well. 
get up attack, which is secretly the most broken option in the game. Uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Next to the down smash and almost good for three there. Comes up just short on the incomplete field goal. Mike clawed his way back up. Now it's a close match. We're going to see if uh, Mike will ride into momentum or whether, uh, you know, Diskid will catch him off guard, set up a uh, block for Mike to jump into. Oh, he's got Nan off stage. That's big. And Nan is dead. This is huge. Mike was down the whole, pretty much the whole game. And oh, 69. He don't care. Uh, and he's done. Magic percent is zero. And you have no more stocks. Oh, Obama judging Mike from the bottom corner of the screen. This is Grand Finals. And this is potentially the final game of Grand Finals. This is tournament point for Money Mike. Uh, this is your boy TM, uh, NEG Mr. Ben Ready. And I'm here with EG Dr. PPMD. And uh, we're watching... Uh, Diz versus Money Mike, game three, or game four, 2 1, Mike's favor. What do you think we'll see on FD this game from Mike as he adjusts from the you know last game? And, and Diz, too, what do you think Diz could do differently that he didn't do last game? Looks like we're seeing side B from Mike. That could be really big. I actually like that move in this matchup. How do you think it works out in this matchup? Works all right. Um, I would say that it's, it's relatively safe, but you can just over spam it really easily. Uh, wow, Nana, Nana just getting upbeat into the shadow realm there by Mike. <laughs> Definitely gonna have to hold that sun. Gotta gotta open some more booster packs. But yeah, Mike, Mike was actually very lucky in the. F oh my goodness. Oh wee. Yeah, that's kind of what happens when you miss when you miss uh, those big conversion moments and you're helpless against Falcon. He will take full advantage and is not very difficult to do technically. Meanwhile, Mike continuing to DI in on these down throws and not tagging. Diz is having a great time uh, taking some free damage. Uh, for what Diz would need to do to adjust and kind of come back, um, I could definitely see him uh, maybe even pushing into Mike's space a little bit. Mike isn't really shielding much. Yeah, you go. He tries to dash attack right there. So he wrapped her boost into dark side combo, almost into the dare. And so it's actually very interesting in the first. Oh, oh I thought we were working with something there. I thought we were. I thought we were making a BMR hype trailer for a second. <laughs> you mean that trailer that was like three fourths money, Mike? <laughs> Foreshadowing. Yeah. Diz taking again very good advantage of the fact that Nana was killed. Diz uh, bringing it back some. That that uh, that stock he took could end up being a really big deal coming into this last stock for him. Well, potentially last stock. And this is where we see it being a big deal. If Mike had been high percent, that dash attack wouldn't have done him any good. But now he gets a full stock off of this invincibility. Mike uh, full hopped and he didn't want to double jump or he didn't react to uh, Diz trying to come in, so he takes the punish. This is what FD is kind of good for Ice Climbers about. You can't fully get away from them, especially when they're invincible. Big shout outs to Kevin for finding something to talk about during that 14 minute wobble uh, from Diz. This man just spot dodged with Falcon. He, I don't know if he's ballsy or crazy. He's trying to get creative. He's like, I don't know what else to do, man. I guess I'll just spot dodge uh, right in front of him. Maybe, maybe that'll work. Oh, game five. Game five. I don't want it. I don't want it. I don't want it. Wait. Game five. Oh, no. Do you think that... Okay, obviously every single debate one could have about wobbling has already been exhausted in terms of the game itself. But do you think wobbling is inherently anti-esports? Uh, no, because it gives people something to talk about and hit. Esports. And that is what esports is really about. No. <laughs> if I, if, Red, if uh, stream chats and Reddit taught me anything, there's there's always something to be upset about, whether it's Fox Dittos or Wobbling. Meanwhile, we don't have a Fox Ditto on the screen. We definitely have something else really fun to talk about. <laughs> uh, no. Kevin, favorite fruit, go. Uh, banana. Right. Favorite. Oh. I'm gonna, I'm gonna, every time we wobble, I'm going to do a lightning round. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, I feel like I'm speed dating now in Wobble Cabin. I'm glad we decided this in the fifth game and not like the first. 
Uh, but yeah, I guess if there's a second set, we have plenty of time to figure it out. Anyway. No, the people paid for this. We have we have we have lost about thirty viewers since uh, Diz got on the stream. Uh, so I mean, Diz. Oh, jeez. So Mike wasn't aware of those lingering frames of the blizzard. He's double jumping away. Uh, he was just not really paying attention from after he got the hit because he was worried about getting grabbed. Moved away. Diz took advantage with the blizzard. Uh, uh, Can we be seeing the quattro? He's not stalling. Where is the TO? You can't say that unless he's actually stalling. Don't do that. <laughs> right there, wobbling Mike almost to 300. He definitely telling the state collectively to hold that. Oh dear. Oh, thank you for w wiggling out of that, Mike. I did not. Yes. <laughs> I'm gonna be biased for like probably the rest of this match. That was rough. <laughs> um. But yeah, so, alright, that's a knee. Get this edge guard. Get this edge guard. Mm. But uh, yeah, you know, props to Diz for coming out here and definitely doing work uh, out of state. Definitely respectable. I know people don't like wobbling. But I also that 11 hour bus ride. Yeah, seriously. I'm sorry, but if I rode the 11 hour bus ride, I'd probably be wobbling you too. <laughs> right now, alright, it gets to okay, kill. Mike, who's not a Get him, Mike! <laughs> You. Three stocks is not a lead. I mean, it's definitely a lead, but you know. not a lead. He can wobble all three of the stocks. It's all an illusion, says the crowd to Mike. Okay, we're out. I double rolled because I've been freaking scared. But all right, here we go. Uh, okay, so we got Mike. Uh, no, he called out the double knee and he didn't do the DI, like, up and away. No. no. Alright, so we're game set two. Set two. Alright, the download. It's all data. 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 Game one of the second set. Sick reset from uh, Diz Kid Boogie. Woo! this man! Payday 14 in theater soon. Go see it in IMAX. Score by Hans Zimmern. The Payday, the movie, the game. Sorry, Money Mike. That was a good roll to get out of pressure by Diz. But he still needs good need. <laughs> oh, yes, yes. Oh, no. Yes. Oh. Go to this camera here. Mm hmm. Fifteen percent, not a lead. Oh, do this man again! <laughs> Woo! That's the eye. <laughs> need this man. Got that guy in the eye. Kevin's, Kevin's like commentary is is escalated in the in the hype. I'm tired of talking about this. Yeah! Yeah, Kevin's in full stream monster mode. I can't even. Need for the people, Mike. Let's go. Okay. Oh, I don't want it to happen. Hey, you're free. Need him. PP is literally yelling into the mic. Sorry, everybody. Oh, the layup. Let's freaking go. <laughs> okay. Kevin cannot be controlled or contained. He can only <laughs> he can only be stalled. 
<laughs> you can only be stalled at 300. <laughs> no! Oh no! Oh, that's bullshit! Oh, that's the bullshit. No! PP, PP with a little bias here. <laughs> when Kevin began to yell incoherently, we actually got three more viewers. Oh! 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 <laughs> Hashtag PP don't care. And this is game one of the final set. Oh, snap! Oh! 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 Yes! Lumber! Back it up! Get this back! Oh! Oh, the knee! Get him! Oh! I was waiting for the camera, I was just like... <laughs> you know that, that face that Jim makes on the office? When you like, <laughs> Game two! <laughs> Game two. What? Uh, <laughs> he is. He is commentating. Shoutouts to commentating. <laughs> Kevin getting bodied by the camera. People are literally crying in this chat. That was so funny, dude. <laughs> no! No! Go to the... Get this man! Don't let him do that! Kevin doing his best. Everyone, shout outs to Dr. PB for doing his best. That hurt. And speaking of hurting, it hurts to see Mike at this kind of a uh, disadvantageous position. Uh, fountain. <laughs> I saw it. I saw it. Is the mic muted? This is 100% uh, unbiased commentary from NEG Stuff and Such Weeklies with Dr. PP and NEG Ben Ready, Ben Ready. Kevin only became successful in Melee because his speed metal band failed. <laughs> Let's go. Let's, Let's freaking get it on. <laughs> <laughs> oh, all right. You know, Diz, Diz Kid Boogie and other ice climber tyrants like him wouldn't want us to have any fun during this grand final set, but darn it, we're going to have fun no matter what. That's two games in a row. That's 2-0. Oh. <laughs> Shout out to Diz Kid Kevin Nanny, Kevin Nanny dancing and screaming has single-handedly brought 35 viewers back to the stream after Diskid ran them all off. <laughs> Let's go. Okay, bring it home, Mike. Let's go, Mike. No.
Mike looked like he's playing his taxes right now. Tax time is coming up. Everyone, everyone getting your wobble face on. Remember Red no! Don't do it again. No, the blood grab. Why? Why? Why was this game even made this way? No one knows. No one knows. Dropping a bucket, right? All right. We'll... Yay! We take those. I'm going to yell about mana kills. Oh, no. Oh, no. Get this man! Get him. See what I'm talking about? See how weird they look? Dude, it's a perfect, it's a perfect mountain. <laughs> it's got to be on purpose. Yep. No one's getting killed because I still Yo, Mike, get his trick, Mike. <laughs> get that trick, Mike. Get that uh -oh. trick, Mike. <laughs> get this man. Get this man. Dismantle him, Mike. Yeah. Dismantle him, Mike. <laughs> He's going to teleport, Mike. The knee. Oh. Oh. The other knee. The last knee! Get him with the other leg! There Mike. it is! Get him with the other leg! Ah, I told you! I told you, Mike! Woo! Woo! Yeah! Get out! Get out! Ah! Alright. So, okay. Mike! <laughs> <laughs> no! No! We, we stopped yelling in my love. Raptor boost! Oh! Extended ledge grab dark side combo. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Reverse Falcon Punch! Oh. Oh my god. Mike, remember the elephant. That was kind of cool. Elephant! 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Who would have thought that Dr. PP would provide such riveting co- oh! Oh! Let's go, Mike. Wake up, Michael. Wake up, down here. Mike That's looking at cool. tournament point here. Stack it up, Mike! Stack that stuff. Stack it up! You have another stock stack! It's just on my phone. I just like saw, yeah, like I just saw that the, the wobbling was happening. I was like, time to look at my phone. I'm out. I'm done. I got baited into looking at my phone by Koozie. He has no oh, Nana. Okay. Nana. He cannot wobble without Nana. Don't Die. forget. Don't forget this pivotal yeah. information. Okay. Woo, USA. He lit. <laughs> he literally cannot wobble without Nana. Don't forget this pivotal right, matchup. There was no bias. No bias, says Kevin. No bias. No bias is the only thing Kevin had to say about that whole series of events. It was a fair match. No one interfered at all. Good play all around. Uh, that's